Hey guys and welcome back to another Unrenching Marketplace sale. This time around it is the massive sale in which we can save up to 70% off on over 15,000 different assets. So now that is a massive variety so what I'm going to be doing today is just giving my top 10 which I found and now I've obviously not looked at all 15,000 but I've looked at a fair amount and I'm going to be going over the top 10 which I found give my views and opinions on them and also showing them off here and there'll obviously be links in the description down below to each one which I look at today as well as the link to the entire marketplace page which you can see on screen now. So without further ado let's get right into it. Starting with the 1900s industrial environment. So this includes 89 unique meshes all of which are AAA quality. The building assets are partially modular so it's not fully modular however you can do some modular work with it. There are controllable parameters in the material instances so you can really customize it for your own liking. It's all game ready and optimized. The assets all have unique concepts to them and there's also different material variations for some assets but not all of them. The texture sizes range from 1k all the way up to 4k and it does have automatic collision on them as well. There is also three LODs for complex meshes. Now as I mentioned earlier there's 89 unique meshes 54 materials and material instances and to go along with those there's 125 textures so I think this one looks absolutely great it looks really moody and honestly looks amazing it kind of reminds me a little bit of an old Batman game can't remember which one I think it's Arkham Knight and that might just be me that's getting that but I think this looks absolutely fantastic and next up we've got the chaos based choppable and interactive trees so if you need some trees to be chopped down then you can use this very easy to use in customizable system based upon destructible meshes so that you can cut down your trees. Now this does look pretty similar to the way the forest does it, just obviously with more detail on the physics on this one. Now this doesn't look amazing, however there is a very solid foundation for you to build upon so you can improve the physics of it, the animations and the way it all works. So again it's not fantastic, however there is a very good base foundation for you to work on. So you can customize how much of the tree needs to be cut before it falls down. You can increase the delay before fractures are destroyed, i.e. when the fractures come off when you hit it, how quickly will they be despawned. You can customize the tree sound when it's falling, the amount of logs to spawn as well as the log mesh itself, and also the duration before the logs do spawn, so once it's fallen down, how quickly is it going to be before the logs spawn and replace the tree. You can make it so the trees respawn if you want to, and along with the respawn time of that, and if you are respawning, if the player destroys the trunk of the tree, then the tree will not respawn. And you can obviously also customize how much damage you need to do to the tree and the trunk to cut it down and destroy it. So like I said, similar to the forest in a way that you cut down the tree, it falls over and then a certain amount of logs will spawn in the place of where the tree was. And the player can then obviously interact those logs to add it to their inventory, pick them up and carry them whatever it is you want to do after that. And now this is also fully network replicated already as well, so you can use this in online multiplayer games. And there's 26 blueprints and 65 meshes. So again, I think this one looks pretty good, could do with a bit of work going onto it, but again, amazing foundation which we have here to be able to build upon, especially with it being already network replicated. And so next we've got the Baphomet, I believe I pronounced that properly, sorry if I didn't. And this is a low poly model of the character Baphomet, suitable for games of different genres, i.e. RPG, strategy, first person shooters and more. And I think this would probably work quite well in a horror game as well, especially an online horror game where one player is playing as this character. So the textures are 2k and 4k, and there is 4 different skins available for this character. All of those skins have 9 materials, 23 texture maps and additional bones. For example, a jawbone. The character is also animated with 22 different animations. Those ranging from attacking to movement, i.e. walking, running and strafing, as well as idle, death, rage and getting hit. So this is rigged and it is rigged to the epic skeleton. IK bones are also included and like I say it is animated with 22 animations. All 22 of which being in place. So you can see on screen a good kind of 3D version of this model with the animations at the end of this as well. Once again I think this would work really well in a kind of online horror game. Obviously you can use it in any genre but I think it would work very well in that. And next is the Cliffs and Mountains Rocks Volume 2. So this is cliffs, stone walls, mountains, big rocks, dry plants and terrains to design deserts and mountain scenarios. So this pack will give you the assets to design a snowy or spring mountain scenery and it also includes eroded rocks, giant rocks, cliffs, small rocks, dry plants, dry trees and mountains and all the materials include the options of moss and snow as well so you can really customize it for different seasons. 
So all of these textures and materials are photo scanned as well, so they're going to look very realistic. And the textures are predominantly 4K, however there is some ranging from 512 by 512 up to 4K, obviously including 1K and 2K in there as well. So there is automatically generated collision on these, as well as automatic LODs. 68 meshes in total, with 6 mesh materials and 36 material instances, and accompanying that is 140 textures. So as you can see on screen now, they're kind of just building a scene using all these different assets, one in the mountains and one in a desert, and these both look fantastic. You can really use this maybe for an actual game or even just for a cinematic if you wanted a camera to be going through a terrain like this. So obviously you're going to have to keep in mind that these are very high quality, so if you've not got the best PC, this might not work out too well for you. However, obviously, you should be able to tell by looking at the description further in the link in the description down below, you should be able to see really if you can or can't run this. And now it is the Persian Bazaar. So this is more than 250 assets which worked with Nanite for UE5 as well. This is game ready for mid to high end production. So keep in mind there, this isn't for low end production, just mid to high. So all the assets in this are modular, so you can build your own level. There's over 250 unique and modular assets, including prefabs, i.e. pre-assembled buildings. And the texture sizes are 4K, 2K, 1K, and 512. And there's also up to eight LODs. On top of all of this, again, the meshes work with Nanite, and it does also have Lumen lighting. And to make the building of these levels easier, all of the meshes will snap to a grid very easily the way they've created it, is if the modular works perfectly together. So this looks very, very high quality and really good. It looks very realistic, and again, that will be partially because of the UE5 features they've been able to use. They are utilizing Nanite to actually create all of this detail and have it run in the level, and obviously Lumen as well, to have the lighting look very nice and proper in this scene too. And now we've got the Real Landscape Meadow. So Real Landscape is a powerful tool for creating amazing landscapes using auto materials, brushes for sculpting and painting, procedural placements, 3D photo scans, and much more. So Real Landscape, I believe, is a series that these people are doing. They're selling multiple of these, and this one is the Meadow version. So it includes a landscape auto material, procedural and manual tools, photo scanned assets, it's optimized and game ready, and it also has lots of parameters for you to be able to really customize what you're doing. So there's also water and rivers, procedural foliage, AAA quality, LODs, collisions, and much, much more. There's 76 unique meshes in total with automatically generated collision. The LODs I mentioned earlier range from three to five LODs, and there's nine materials and 39 material instances. 108 textures ranging from 1K to 4K. Next up is the Asian architecture pack. So here is a lot of different details of Asian architecture, such as walls, columns, roofs, and decorations. And there is also some prefab buildings in here as well. So as they've just said Asian and not specified a country, I imagine it's maybe across multiple countries, but I'm not really sure. They haven't been too specific with it. However, you can obviously see on screen now what kind of buildings and architecture we've actually got here. So this is all fully modular. There's 56 meshes, but they don't have collision or LODs on them. There's 19 materials and material instances and 59 textures. Those textures are 4K. So to give you an idea of some of the different meshes we've got, we've got benches, walls, fences, roofs, gates, stones, lamps, and so much more. Really anything which you want to make to do with Asian architecture, especially that you can see in this video and these screenshots, you can make with this pack. And now it's the Puppy Labrador. So this is a realistic Labrador puppy model with 65 in-place and root motion animations and three color options. So you can have either a white, black, or brown puppy. Like I said, there are 65 animations, these ranging from attacking, being hit, idle, sitting, eating, drinking, sleeping, and so much more, as well as obviously your normal movement animations. So it is rigged, but obviously not the epic skeleton, and it is animated with 116 animations. I imagine it's 116 when they said 65 earlier because there will be both in place and root motion and some of them you won't need both so that's why it's not the full 130. However again it gives you the option of both in place and root motion depending on which you prefer to work with. There's two materials and material instances and 18 textures ranging from 2k to 512. 
and I should mention this is also low poly so this would work in any type of game you want to do so this would work on any system really it should be very well optimized especially with the textures only being 2k and 512 you should really be able to run this on anything so now it's the Niagara bullet impact effects so there's eight different special effects which we get here we've got glass grenade ground metal wall water and wood all of those being impact and a bonus one of a muzzle flash as well. So these are procedural collided Niagara effects with the emitters being CPU and GPU. There's 10 unique effects and they do have LODs. There's 14 mass materials and 23 material instances with 56 textures. I think these look absolutely great and you could really use these for a wide variety of different games that you're doing and especially the directional point of this looks absolutely amazing as well so it does look very realistic and as you can see in the video as well it's going to be changing depending on how far away the bullet is hit from where it was shot. And finally last but not least is the Northern Ireland pack. Make sure to keep in mind this is Northern Ireland not Northern Ireland so it's not the country it's just an island that I guess is northern. So this is a well designed island landscape including photo scanned rocks and vegetation, high detailed cliffs and procedural landscape features for easy adjustment. So the landscape textures, plants and rocks are all photo scanned and the coastal cliffs are modelled and sculpted. There are 63 unique meshes with both custom and automatically generated collision. There are LODs ranging from 3 to 4 and there's 8 materials, 33 material instances, 21 material functions and 54 textures ranging from 1k all the way up to 8k. And there is also an important note they've left on here is that you need to turn on volumetrics and water plugins from the plugins menu to obtain all the features in the demo map correctly otherwise it won't look quite right. Now these are obviously free plugins they're not ones you have to buy additionally these are just ones which you need to enable. So again I think this one looks absolutely amazing it does kind of remind me of Ireland a little bit but I think that's just a coincidence but again I think this looks great because it is photo scanned like I said earlier the textures look absolutely amazing. So I think that'll be it for this video on covering my top 10 assets in the massive marketplace sale on the Unreal Engine marketplace. So I think my favourite one this time around is probably going to be the Northern Ireland pack which I've just gone over and let me know in the comments down below which one your favourite one is and any others on the marketplace page which you really like the look of as well because again I only fit 10 in this video whereas there is over 15,000 different assets where you can save up to 70% off. So again, make sure to check the links in the description down below. And thanks so much for watching this video, and I'll see you all in the next one.